Set 31129, Majestic Tiger, is a LEGO Creator 3-in-1 set. It comes with 755 pieces. It is for the ages of 9 and up and was released January 1st, 2022. It retails in Canada for $64.99 Canadian, in the US for $49.99 US, in the UK for £44.99, and, and in the rest of Europe for uh, €49.99, Euro with Finland being €59.95. Euro so, the front of the box has a nice big picture of the tiger in a sort of bamboo uh, type environment here. Um, sort of an environment made of lots of angular shapes, not really any round ones, which is the interesting little design aesthetic on the outside. Uh, the top left of all four sides have the Lego logo, so I don't have to go over that over and over again. Uh, the information on is on the top uh, left below the Lego logo for the general bits of the set with the creator bes uh, name beside the Lego logo. Uh, you have a three-in-one uh, badge on the top right. Below that it shows the red panda that you can make and the koi fish. The other side has a Leftmost picture is of the koi fish in a little pond with a floating uh, water lily. You have to upper right about is three in one, and it has a little um, a, uh, a a little tree there with fallen bamboo bit and the red panda. And below that is the majestic tiger about to pounce on a bird that is on top of a little tree with rocking bamboo there. One side of a set has uh, the creator name beside the Lego logo. It also has the warning that due to small parts, there is a potential choking hazard if children zero to three consume them. So you got to watch out for that. And there is the name three and one beside that. And a picture of the same picture of it is on the front is on the side. Uh, on the right. The other side has the creator name beside the Lego logo. Below that is the Majestic Tiger in two different languages. And you also have where the components were made and distributed, along with the same picture that's on the front on the right side there. Uh, the top has the a, the picture of the tiger about to swipe. There is a top-down view of the koi fish and the floating lily. And there is a picture of the red panda sort of hugging a tree branch. And the actual size indicator is a 4x4 circular pl uh, orange plate. And the bottom of the box has the creator beside the LEGO logo on the left side again. You have the LEGO.com slash uh, apps advertisement, so that's where you can get multiple apps, uh, LEGO apps for children to play with. There's building instruction app and other things right there. And then you have the usual UPC recycling and trademark information on the sort of middle to right side there. And this box is a tabbed box, so you push in the tabs, and then you open it right up. Okay, so here's the set. You have four bags labeled one to four here. Uh, you have three instructions, one for the koi fish, for red panda, and the uh, tiger. So for the koi fish, you don't really have anything on the front here. On the back is an advertisement for five sets that are all going to be released in March first of 2022 so that's about a month away from now or maybe even half a month away depending on when these videos come out so they haven't come out yet but at lego is advertising them anyway uh for the red panda uh once again nothing on the front of there here uh on the back is a advertisement for the rebuild the world which is all about lego and sustainability and it has a picture of the uh teddy basically robo teddy bear on the back of it and the <clears throat> main instruction, the really thick instruction booklet that's glue bound and not stapled is the Majestic Tiger. So the front of it has a very large advertisement for the Lego Building Instructions app. Uh, this is an app that allows you to build pretty much everything from 2010 up and maybe a couple years earlier. Um, it's extremely easy to use. You search by theme and then year and then you can find the stuff. Uh, it's not as it's not as um, it doesn't have as much as the instructions on the Lego website, so you can download PDF versions of instructions there, and that goes all the way to 1996, but they're slightly more difficult to find. So the app is easier to use, but it has less on it. Um, so for this, bags one will de will build the main body of a tiger. Bags two deal the f main front section with the two uh, four legs. Bags three deal with the legs on the back in that section, and bags four will deal with the head, the tail, and the little rock with uh, bamboo and bird on it. Um, so as always for these instructions and the build, the main build is divided into bags that you can follow along, but the other two is just a dump of bags in the middle and then build it then type uh, deal. Um, so on the back are is a 
thing for the uh, feedback and win, which is basically you enter a survey on the LEGO website and you will be entered in a chance to win a LEGO set from them. Uh, there are two pages of parts and the next two pages over have stuff about uh, information on tigers. So apparently in tiger stripes serve as camouflage and tall grass and uh, colors and spacing vary between subspecies and no two tigers have identical stripes. Um, despite the orange fur, apparently most of our prey animals are colorblind and see the orange fur as green vegetation. So that's an interesting fact there. Uh, a tiger's roar can be heard from 1.9 miles away and 2022 is the year of the tiger in the Chinese zodiac calendar. So that's some very interesting stuff right there. <clears throat> um, for the packaging, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. The packaging was good. It was the usual Lego packaging. Nothing great, nothing wrong with it. Um, also no bent instructions. Uh, as this is a 3-in-1 set, I will be doing the exclusive parts right now. So for exclusive parts, you get a 2x2 two two brick with a vertical snap piece. That is in a brick yellow it has never been in before. You have a 1... Uh, a 1x3 outside half arch cutout, which is in a bright orange, it's never been before. There is a 2x2 two two, uh, brick with cup for ball, which is in a white, it's never been in before. And for printed exclusivity pieces, there is a 1x2x2 two two thirds uh, roof tile piece that has a bit of orange and black striping for the main body of the tiger there. So that's it for the exclusive pieces. Um, and <clears throat> Uh, as always, there are timestamps in the description, so you can skip, uh, if you don't like the time lapse, you can skip to other parts, so uh, check those out if you don't like the time lapse. And I'll be watching YouTube video, and when I speed it up, it looks like my eyes are flickering between the screen and the build, and it just looks really weird, so just want to warn you about that. Okay, so this is the last review for the set, so we'll be doing the last one, which is the Koi Fish. If you want to check out the uh, previous two reviews, then check out the description uh, in the video description for the links to the two other videos. And now I'm going to begin building this last one.
Okay, so here's the set. You have a teal brick separator. You have about over half of the pieces I would say left over, and this is just because you don't use all the pieces in the uh, other than in the main build. So that's quite a bit left over there. And then you have the main, uh, the koi fish set. So this is the third one that you can build. You get a little, a little water lily here, which is actually very uh, nicely done for the parts that you have to use. And then you have the koi fish, which is actually a pretty nice thing. So it fully articulates. And with the tail here, so you can get the whole fish action type thing going. Um, it's also, well, it's not supposed to do that. Um, <clears throat> The fin on top also moves. The fins down here also have movement to them, but not like that. Um, and the fin at the back can also move too. Although I think it's mainly supposed to be kept like this for that. Um, this is a just this is a nice little build. Uh, one thing I will note is that there is actually a misprint on the instructions. So on page twenty three and 24. So you're supposed to, for the main section of body just behind the head, you're supposed to add these side plates uh, on this part here. Uh, an interesting fact is that it asks you to add the right side plate on here, but it shows the left one already on there. And then when you flip the page, it shows you putting the left one on, but it doesn't show the right one. So those, uh, so those set of instructions on pages should have been flipped. So they are actually on the wrong page. Just an interesting little, uh, thing wrong with the instructions there. Um, for the build in this, I'm going to, I'm actually gonna, gonna give this build a three. This is actually a pretty nice little build here. Uh, it wasn't the most incredible thing with the amount of uh, little building techniques and stuff you get here to make this as, um, to make as much of the joints covered as possible while still being able to articulate it is pretty damn impressive there. Um, the little bits, uh, the little sort of whiskered, uh, little mustache thing on the mouth here and the way that you can see the mouth is also pretty damn good. Um, I do like it quite a bit here. Um, for the play, I'm going to give play a two. This is sort of more of a, um, this is more of an action figure type play here. So there's not much of integrating into a Lego city. It's more of a, a kid plays around like it's an action figure or you sort of put it on a custom little display to like angle it and just have it just sort of on a shelf there. Um, so play is gonna get a two for that. Um, the display is going to get a three. This is this one is quite a nice little display. Like I said before, you could just have it even just resting on a shelf here in front of here, in front of that, or you could have it on a little stand to have the, uh, the fins in the right placements instead of being flattened. This could sort of be like almost like it's in mid swim. It is pretty nice there. Um, and the value, uh, if you want to check out the value, check out the link above. That is where the value is going to be. It's uh, I do the value on the first set because of the way that I record these. Uh, the value is only shown on the set on the first review, which is of the main build and how I um, and where I do put most of the value. So I do have value up there. Um, and with this, so this set. If you want a couple nice animals, then this is definitely the set to get. Um, I will also say that for the people who want it, um, go check out that first review also. Um, I will have mainly the value and who the set is main, made for on there. But uh, with that said, I will see you all next time.